what's up youtube it's your girl shiny and welcome back to the women's palace y'all 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 i just want to get on here to encourage not only you guys but encourage myself okay i am on my way to pick up my son from school and i just really want to encourage us to stand on the word of god you know we live in a world that we have to remind ourselves that we live in a world that is fog screens that the enemy is the god of this world he can make illusions he can present you with things and you have to overcome your five senses you have to overcome what it is that you see what it is that you feel you know what it is that you hear what it is that you smell okay because let me tell y'all it's certain stuff i would smell or you feel me and it just brings back a memory you know and we really have to get to a point where we're overcoming our five senses our five senses and standing on the word of god standing on the word of god regardless of what comes you know and this is a mind battle you know sometimes a lot of things are easier said than done most definitely um i think we kind of underestimate certain battles you know the fight in the good fight of faith because it's easy to say that it's easy to you know oh i believe i believe but when you're put in a certain circumstance that's going to try your faith then it's a different story you know then it's like oh my gosh you know god where is you at like you know and it's all moments that's what i'm realizing it is all moments and you just got to stand on that word. What God is really working in my spirit is if God blessed you, can't nobody curse you. If God declared life over you, can't nobody speak death over you. You got to understand God has the final say, you know, and God will allow certain things like i have been in the book of elijah he's been having me in first kings reading about elijah you know and um i had seen how you know the situation where after you know the brook dried up or whatever he had to go to the widow woman and her son passed now in my mind i'm like god like i don't i didn't understand it you know i didn't understand why is it that the little boy had to die like you know and something clicked in me and my grandpa also kind of like gave me revelation as well on this was um he allowed the boy to die because the woman really didn't believe you know because you know after you know elijah prayed out to god and the boy's soul came back into him then she said now i know so god will allow certain things just so he can show his strength just so he can show out you know and i always say god you know that's annoying like it is not cute for you to try to show up late to the scene like you know but that's how god gets his glory so you got to be able to stand 10 toes down on whatever it is that he told you god is not a man that he shall lie and that's something that you're gonna have to repeat to yourself multiple times multiple times okay because i always say baby you gotta fight with yourself you gotta speak to yourself because you are at battle within your mind a lot of people think the battle is elsewhere the battle is in your mind you have to go to war with yourself and tell yourself no i know what god told me i don't care what my circumstances look like i don't care what i see i don't care what's being told to me i know what my god told me and i gotta stand on that i gotta stand on god makes ways out of no ways it doesn't i don't have to see something to be i don't have to see god moving for him to be moving you know you got to be able to understand god works best in the dark so you're going to be in the dark <laughs> why he's working everything out and then he gonna pop out with the light on and you're gonna be like oh my gosh i understand now i know now you feel me so i say all this to just encourage you guys to stand on 10 toes down on me if you gotta go to war you gotta go to war with yourself baby i've been at war with myself like shanice no we're not thinking those thoughts we're not going that way because you know you can get frustrated you can very much get frustrated and i'm gonna be very transparent i have been frustrated you know i found myself like god like questioning god you know and i always repent one thing i am open about is like 
I have a relationship with God and I voice my opinion, you know, and I always repent because some some thoughts, some things are not of God. And, you know, I find myself, you know what, Father, forgive me, you know, because your emotions, emotions, oh my gosh, is a hot mess. And y'all know, because you are mankind. I don't care if y'all out here trying to make it seem like I don't have no feelings. Y'all have feelings and y'all feel away. And just like, you know, you can get frustrated with God. You can be mad at God because you feel like God is not working on your behalf. Or you feel like, God, you told me this and you out here, you got me out here looking silly. You feel me? Like, <laughs> silly dilly. Okay? But... This was really just a transparent moment. Me just really venting and encouraging you guys as I encourage myself because it's a lot of things that are flowing. You know, uh, God has a lot coming to his children, to the body of Christ. And you know, with that, <laughs> the enemy is trying his last. You know, I just hear God saying, this is the last stretch you know and it's always going to get tough before the final breakthrough you know it's going to seem like everything is falling apart it's going to seem like okay god are you really with me did i hear you right you know so just understand that this is the last stretch it is the last stretch and guess what you gotta stand 10 toes down on what god told you and if you gotta go to war with yourself because god is not a man that he shall lie so if your feelings is telling you something different hey check yourself I always, I'm good at checking myself. I'm good at talking to myself because I know me, I'm not always there. You feel me? I'm not always, you know, but I trust God through it all. So this was just an encouraging word to understand that you are in the last stretch. It's not going to look like, um, it's not going to look like what God promised, but that's just because, you know, you're in the last little trinkets, but you will make it. God is sending blessings. God is doing amazing things in this season. And stand ten toes down on that. So go out and be a light in this dark world.